Muslims claim that a revelation from God can only be understood in its original language. Since Jesus came with revelations from God, we have to ask, who could understand those revelations in the original language? Paul or Muhammad? The Apostle Paul was fluent in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, all of the languages necessary for understanding the Old Testament, the claims of Jesus, and the earliest Christian writings. Muhammad couldn't speak any of the relevant languages, so any attempt to understand the Old Testament, the claims of Jesus, or the earliest Christian writings would have required the help of interpreters. I normally wouldn't bring this up as a problem, but since Muslims are obsessed with reading the Quran in the original Arabic, we can only assume that the writings of Moses, the teachings of Jesus, and the writings of Jesus' followers can only be understood in the original languages. Paul could do that. Muhammad couldn't. Muhammad's ignorance of the original languages leads to further problems. For example, the Quran refers to the book revealed through Jesus as the Injil. But the Arabic word Injil is ultimately derived from the Greek word euangelion, meaning good news. So according to the Quran, the book revealed through Jesus was written in Greek. This makes absolutely no sense if Jesus was only sent to his fellow Jews as Islam claims. But it makes perfect sense if Jesus' message was for the rest of the world as well, since Greek was the international language of the time. Interestingly, the New Testament Gospels were written in Greek, exactly what we would expect given the Quran's use of the term Injil, but quite unexpected given Muhammad's notion of Jesus' life and mission, not to mention Muhammad's conviction that revelations can't be translated. Welcome to Islam, the religion that shoots its own foot off with its ridiculous view of language. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In case you stumbled upon this video while browsing or searching, I wanted to let you know that it's part of a series comparing Paul and Muhammad. So if you'd like to see the full series, be sure to click on the playlist. If you're already in the playlist, you're about to find out who received a stamp of approval from Jesus himself, Paul or Muhammad.